what's up guys uh you know john here back again uh yeah no this isn't a, a how-to video on how to cut down a tree like abraham lincoln the vampire slayer <laughs> or vampire killer whatever that movie was called in a single blow so uh it's just not really possible um but i have been cutting down some trees with an axe and it is a pain in the ass. There's one right now. You can see it's kind of a little stump. And then the tree fell. So I'm cutting down what I can uh, with an axe. And then I'm going to get a chainsaw and uh, start cutting down the rest that I can. And then start cutting up what I have cut down for firewood. Um, but yeah, I mean, things are going kind of slow. Uh, I ended up getting poison sumac in this area, which I finished raking up. I just have the piles over here, so I'll just end up moving that to the back. And, you know, things are moving along. Uh, be, my wife will be getting a new car soon, so looking forward to that. And Snow White will be getting her lift soon. Uh, to fix her saggy butt issue and yeah I mean just gotta finish getting at it and cutting down more of these trees and I mean I can't cut down these pines because they go up there I mean they're pretty dang tall here's a pine I mean it just it goes and goes <laughs> I think it's about I don't know I'd say 200 feet up there maybe 150 feet to 200 feet tall it's pretty tall and I can't cut those down I don't have anywhere to, to drop them and then I don't have any climbing gear to actually climb up there and start cutting sections off of it so that's where I'm at yeah. uh, it actually rained last night um, so it rained a little bit more than what I wanted, so I ended up washing away some of the dirt in the front yard that I had threw grass seed on, and uh, so that sucks. I'll probably have to end up going to get another bag of fast grass seed by Vergro, something like that. So I mean, right now we just have a dirt patch in the front, lovely dirt patch. And then with a little bit of grass towards the, the front, where it doesn't slope. So where it starts sloping, we don't have any grass. And this front yard was completely covered in leaves. <laughs> I mean, you could not see. You didn't even know you had you had grass in any in up there at all. And especially not down here. I mean, it was just leaves galore, just like the just like the backyard but I got all that crap cleaned up trying to get this stuff situated to where I'm actually growing grass in the front instead of looking at a big dirt patch um, so I'll continue to uh, get this trying to go I mean I know it's still considered winter here in Georgia but I mean we're having 60 70 you know temperature days you know in the 60s and 70s low 70s but still 70s in January and 60s in January actually we're in February what am I talking about Ugh. yeah so <laughs> we're in February so yeah that's where I'm at now um, you know just trying to get my money back up so I can finish what I need to finish and get a lift for Snow White you know get this front yard going and then I need to build a section of fence uh, to close off the backyard so I mean yeah I mean there's plenty of things to do around the house I need to fix the gutter above the garage and uh, I did the weather stripping around the doors but uh, the little cheap paint stuff that they put on the floor on the garage uh, floor is peeling up where I put the weather stripping at so when I did the caulking it kind of just peeled up the uh, paint so it leaked right there where the paint was uh, peeling up where the caulking was attached to so I gotta fix that but I mean other than that the rest of the, the rest of the door seals held up I mean nothing else leaked in except for, from that one spot 
So I mean that's a that's a good thing. I'm just gonna go get some more caulking because I ran out the last time I did it, and then uh, fix that for the next time we do have rain. But yeah, I mean things are coming along, and I hope you all stay here for the journey and see what I have planned for the house for Snow White uh, coming soon. Then in the next few months will be another car, which will be. Uh, you know, like I said, my wife's getting gonna get her new car, and then uh, I'll be getting a Nissan 240 to build my. It'll be kind of like a weekend drift slash clean daily. So uh, I'm not trying to like gut it out or anything like that. It won't be like a straight track car. It'll be something that's has AC and power steering and all that stuff. My go. My vision is to do uh, S13. RB25 uh, Skyline engine in it, RB25, not the Neo, but the RB25 DET, either Series 1 or Series 2. I haven't quite decided on that yet. And then uh, do a Rocket Bunny body kit on it. Uh, again, I I'm not quite sure what wheels I'm going to do, but I definitely do want to do a Rocket Bunny kit. And I'm going to have a lot of different modifications and stuff like that I'm going to do to the 240. And I'll show you guys along the way. Hopefully, you guys stay here and more of y'all join in and watch and see how things go. Well, that's all I have to rant about today. So peace, guys. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.